This video is presented by NewWoodworker.com. Jed always has made good dust collectors, but adding his Vortex Cone Particle Separation System stepped that up a bunch. I chose a Vortex Collector with a canister because they're very popular these days, and with good reason. This collector weighs on the order of 156 pounds, so you'll be happy it comes on these casters. The True Horse and a Half motor has a cast iron case with built-in cooling fins. These keep the motor temperatures down and extend its life considerably. And the motor's controlled with this industrial push-button on-off switch set. The motor drives this 11-inch impeller to create 1,100 cubic feet a minute airflow. The blower housing has a 6-inch diameter opening. Because most users will hook up one machine at a time, Jet includes this twin 4-inch diameter input fitting. And that just presses into place. And this is that cone that you've been wondering about. And this gets mounted up inside the particle separator housing. The cone is actually suspended within that housing. From the underside, the cone doesn't look like much, but believe me, there is reason to this madness. But look at that cone from where the air actually enters the housing, and the vortex concept is easier to understand. The idea is to force the air into sort of a mini tornado rotation. The shape of this cone and the chamber surrounding it forces the heavier particles, like the chips, to go downwards. The very small and very light dust particles can stay in suspension in the air and travel up into the filter element. The inside of the filter elements depend on a layer of these fine dust particles to help it filter out smaller and smaller pieces. But when the larger chips get up there, they just block air and reduce efficiency. And that's why we use the vortex to get the heavier chips to go downwards. The canister type filters are getting very popular because all those little pleats increase the surface area for filting tremendously. All that surface area allows us to filter down to very small particle sizes without restricting the airflow significantly. We do want to knock some of the dust off of the inside every now and then, so we just turn this handle. And that turns these hands inside of the filter. As they turn, those hands distort the pleats just a little bit, but enough to knock some of the surface dust off of them. And that's all we have to do to maintain the performance of the filter. You get five of these plastic catch bags with the unit. We wrap the top four or five inches around the steel snap ring and then insert it into the housing at a pretty steep angle. Put the front end on the lip inside the housing and then pull the back side of the ring down. All that's left is to connect the four inch hose to the outlet on the machine and then connect the other end to the inlet on the dust collector. During this evaluation I made a lot of very thin boards out of some rather thick boards. The Jet Vortex Cone Dust Collector pretty much didn't care what size chips I was making or how fast I was feeding them into the inlet. One thing I did notice that even though I was feeding the boards into the joiner as fast as I dare, there was nothing coming out from underneath the joiner. If the dust collector is at all marginal, a lot of times you get some of the chips coming out at this seam between the joiner and the cabinet below it. But despite taking several boards down to as thin as I dare go, nothing came out. The studio lighting makes this pretty hard to see, but I can see that the dust is essentially a wooden tornado inside the bag. I did notice that this is about as cloudy as the bag gets. The static in a plastic bag usually makes the real fine flower type dust inside cling to the bag, but there's very little of it in here now. And that showed all through this evaluation that the Jet Vortex Cone Dust Collector does what it says it will. The chips are coming downwards into the bag rather than going up into the filter and reducing the airflow. If you need to add a dust collector to your shop, you need to take a hard look at the Jet Vortex Cone Dust Collector. This is a well-built, well-designed machine that does what it says it will do.